all right um guys welcome back to the, um, this training good good day hope you all are having a very fantastic day whatever time it is that you're watching this video yeah once again my name is concord and um for uh, in this video i've been considering um how to design a website like how to design a website so in the in the previous video we um, talked about uh, what a website is basically and um, the, the two types of websites and the other kinds of, of websites and other stuff and uh, we also talked about um, some basic web designing terminologies that every web designer must must know okay um, so today quickly we're going to be jumping into um, how to you know, acquire hosting and domain and SSL certificate for a website of course we've talked about what hosting what domain and what SSL is in the previous video so quickly let's um, go to name chip because that is where we'll be getting uh, hosting and domain and SSL from okay so we are, we are now I know in name chips uh, platform so what you do is you go to your browser you type um, namechip.com and you load it and it's going to bring you here okay now before i go ahead to do this explanation i i, I want you to know that namechip is not the only platform out there that deals with um, name domain and and, and, and um, hosting and all of this stuff there is there are other platforms like you know google host q servers for nigerian companies and the host of them and there are also bluehost hostgator and you know all that's like that in the international um you know in the, in the international phase so um with that being said i am recommending you to use namecheap because namecheap is what i use namecheap is what i've been using since i started doing web designing why because namecheap they are reliable and their customer service is great like they attend to you whenever you you know having any issue with any website as swiftly as possible and they get those issues resolved so i, I recommend namecheap to anyone that is trying to you know design any website as uh, especially if you are a beginner okay so i'm um, quickly let's let's dive into what we are here for um now to buy a domain name Remember, what, you already know what a domain name actually means. So, to buy a domain name, you are first of all supposed to search search for the availability of that name. Okay, search for the availability of that domain name. Domain name is usually the name of the business dot com, or the name of the business dot com dot ng, or the name of the business dot ng. Or the name of the business dot org or dot tv or dot ai and no uh, dot blog and 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 so forth okay now there are those dot com dot ng dot com dot ng and stuff like that are referred are called extensions they are extensions that are added to the business name to make it to turn it into a domain name okay now um, the, those extensions are important, and uh, but if you are looking to you know have a website, the extension that you I advise you to to work with, or I would advise you to advise your clients to go with is the dot com extension. Why? Because it is the most popular and it is the most used okay around and all over the world dot com is the most popular and the most used that's why you need to use dot com because every almost every other person is using dot com which is how it is okay it is it is it is then um there are other extensions like dot ng dot ng is if you are is used if you are trying to build a website for a business that is trying to focus on the nigerian market alone Okay, because ng there stands for Nigeria. Then we have the dot com dot ng. Dot com dot ng is also, uh, you know, targeting the Nigerian audience actually. 
um, but .com.ng is less expensive compared to .com and compared to .ng okay .com.ng is like one of the least expensive but I advise let me repeat that one more time I advise use .com use .com okay use .com unless your client says they cannot really afford to make it up .com then you can ask you do .com.ng but Namecheap does not do .com.ng or .ng because Namecheap is an international platform. So if you want to use .ng or .com.ng, go and find QServers or Hugo's or any other Nigerian platform. But note, .ng is very expensive. It costs around 9,000 naira to get that. Okay. So let's dive into it now. Let's assume we are using .com. So let's assume the brand you want to do the website for is like a shoe brand a shoe making brand or a brand that sells shoes and it's okay do the website for us the first thing you want to do what's the name of the brand so let's imagine the name of that brand is um let's say concourse um concourse shoe world okay yeah let's imagine that's the name of the brand dot com and we search for the availability of this domain name. Let's search for the availability of this domain name and see if it is available for us to you know to buy or not. It is very important. If it is not available, then you can buy it anywhere. If it's not available on Namecheap, then we rest assured that it is not available on any other. Um, platform like this anywhere else okay so thankfully it is available so what are we going to do the next one we want to do is what we'll click on add to cars you can see the figure all right you can see this is 8.88 dollars notice something here it says 33 percent off okay 33 percent off that means um if i copy Let's, let me copy this now, right? Let me copy this. That is like a coupon code. A coupon. So let me click on add to cart. We're going to apply that coupon code later to reduce. Okay, so we've added to cart. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to get our hosting. So come, go to hosting, go down, click on shared hosting. I hope you're following me. Click on shared shared hosting. Then you you know come down here, and you're gonna see. Um, so what we have here, there are three different hosting plans. Okay, there is the Stellar hosting plan, there's the Stellar Plus hosting plan, and there's a the Stellar Business hosting plan. Yeah. So now, what's the difference between these three? Of course, you can already see the price difference, and um, you can look at the 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 the, the the what they all imply on the screen right now okay but don't use stellar.plus stellar plus or stellar business if what you're trying to build is just a normal website without so much um 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 um, um information okay just a normal website like every day and everyday website okay if you're planning to build an everyday website use just come and use stella okay in fact if you use stella you get access to building three websites on this stella um, plan yeah if you use stella plus you can build a limited number of websites okay if you use stella business you can build unlimited number of websites too all right, which is um, which is good. And Stellar Business comes with cloud storage to make it safer. Yeah, so that's that about that. So now let's click on. But now we are building a normal website. We are, we don't want any. Um, we are not doing any serious stuff. Normal website, normal corporate website, or normal um, whatever kind of website. As long as it doesn't require lots of videos. If you are building a website like YouTube. You are supposed to make use of what Stellar Plus or Stellar Business. If you're using a website like any website that, or like Udemy, like um, uh, any website that would contain a lot of videos and a lot of informations like that, 
you want to use any of these two if not use Stella so we we'll click on get started so as you can see you are going to be paying um, you are going to be paying $27 for the domain and the hosting right so you come here click on add to cart click on add to cart then um, it's going to ask you to confirm all that this way let's insert that promo code here so I'm just going to insert the promo code here let me insert the promo code here remember that promo code right uh, let's see ok good let me apply it oh ok ok let me log in I, I didn't log in let's log in now if you um ok let me just use this person's account to log in since I'm not this is the account of the last website I, um, I designed for a client so oh no 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 um ok um let's let me just go back let me use my account I can't access this person's um can't access this person's let me use my account Okay, let me cancel this. Okay, so um, let me try logging in, right? Mm. Uh. this this um okay yeah so let me sign in and continue are you serious let me try this that again um Try that again. Well, I guess I have to pause this video. I guess I am. I can't remember my password now. Let me pause this video and then fix that quickly. Okay, sorry about that. So, um, I've tried logging in. They sent um, a code, verification code to my mail and. Um, I'm starting that now and I'm submitting it and yeah we're back here okay so we'll continue from where we stop oh uh, yeah let's go to cart view cart there's nothing in the cart okay let's have to start afresh again let's start afresh sorry about this okay um Let's quickly start afresh. If you didn't get to the first time, can you pay attention now? So we are using Concord Shoreward. Com. Right. And it is available, and uh, we are copying this. Remember, we are copying this Ctrl C, and uh, we'll come to let's add this to cart. Oh, 
Oh, okay. I think it's displaying here already. So let's just quickly um, do this here. So let's insert the promo code. Yeah, let's apply. Oh, it has expired already. Okay, no problem. If 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 it were not so, it would have worked for you. So anyway, uh, we confirm order. Click on confirm order. Click on confirm order. It brings us down here where, where we are supposed to pay twenty seven dollars to get access to the hosting and domain. Now, if you buy hosting um, from 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 these guys from Namecheap, they are going to be giving you SSL for free. But it does not work like that with other platforms. Other platforms you have to pay for SSL separately. Okay, so you have to click on terms and agreements. You have to tick it before you click on pay now. But I'm not going to click on pay now because I don't want to pay for that. Okay, but in your own case, you click on pay now and it's going to take you to done. As soon as you click on pay now, they are going to send you um, mails. Okay, they're going to send you, and then she's going to send you like two mails, an average of two mails. The first one would be a receipt. Okay, you can see order summary, order, blah, 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 blah. They're going to send, going to send you a receipt. Then the second one is going to send you your hosting account details. Okay, the hosting package details. So you open that, you scroll down, you're going to see everything about your hosting. Then um, you're going to see your C panel details. Remember, we talked about C panel details. Okay, so what you do is when you open this C panel details, when you click on it, um, Namecheap is going to take you to, you're going to be led to your C panel. So you're, you're supposed to log, now log into your C panel and you know. Um, after logging into your C panel, you are now able to do some C panel work. Okay, so in the next video, I'll be showing you how to log into your C panel. What I'm going to do in the next video, let me let's go back to the slide. In the next video, I'll be showing you um, how to you know log into your C panel and um, you know. And to your web and create a webmail for your website project. I'm also going to be showing you the next video how to set up autoresponders and folders for your website project, and also how to install WordPress on a website. These are the things we are going to cover in the next video. See you in the next video. Thank you.